Hello guys, welcome to Daily Fredo. Today I'll be reacting to fat positivity and fat phobia videos. In the past few years, I've heard the term fat phobia a lot, especially on social media where bigger individuals talk about it. It's funny because they use the term to describe anybody who wouldn't want to be fat themselves, is not dating bigger individuals, says being obese is unhealthy, uses terms obese, doesn't date obese people, etc. I looked into the definition of fat phobia as to me it would mean extreme fear fear of fatness or getting fat, but this is the actual definition. Fat phobia, also known as anti-fat, is the implicit and explicit bias of overweight individuals that is rooted in a sense of blame and presumed moral failing. Being overweight and or fat is highly stigmatized in Western culture. Anti-fatness is intrinsically linked to anti-blackness, racism, classism, misogyny, and many other systems of oppression. Okay, and to describe the actual anxiety and fear caused by fatness, we would use a word obesophobia, which is intense, overwhelming fear of gaining weight or getting fat. The condition is the specific phobia, fear, which is a type of anxiety disorder. It's also called pokreskophobia. There you go. So now that we know what it is exactly, let's see some videos. So here is a woman, uh, she made a video on TikTok and someone answered to that video, or he isn't attracted to bigger girls like how some people aren't attracted to smaller girls. Everyone is entitled to their own preferences. So yeah, dating preferences, right? So this is her answer. Hey bestie, <laughs> you're wrong. I think it's time for another adult pre-K lesson. What do you think? All right, turn your listening ears on. Catch a bubble in your mouth. Good job. Okay, here's the thing. Having a preference is something like, I'm looking for a partner who likes kayaking or wakes up early in the morning or loves pizza. <laughs> But when your preferences exclude an entire group of marginalized people, that's problematic. Okay, that's not nice. That's not a preference. If you lump all fat people in one group together as though they are not very different individuals, that's fat phobic. Just like lumping all black people in one group and saying, I don't like black people is racist. And lumping all disabled people in one group and saying, I don't think people in wheelchairs are hot is ableist. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why? They're not a race. They're not a religion. It's totally curable. Eat an apple and go for a walk. Ooh. You know, whether you're fat, skinny, medium built, speaking like this makes you f***ing annoying. The condescending tone of voice is something I, I just, I can't stand it. Funny enough, when the video just started playing, my first thought was, oh, she's pretty. And then she spoke. Okay, wait, fat people are a marginalized group. How can she even compare it to actual racism or ableism? You can't change the color of your skin. If you're permanently in a wheelchair, you can't suddenly decide to walk. But guess what? If you are large, there are things you can do to change it or at least improve it. It's your lifestyle choices that are making you look how you look. And if someone has a preference, they prefer someone smaller built, more athletic, with healthier life or eating habits, that's for them to go for what they want. You're not f***ing marginalized. Let's see some comments. I used to have a crush on a co-worker of mine who was 300 plus pounds. He was a great dude, but when we went to grab lunch on his breaks, it would disgust me to see how much he ate. I was actively trying to lose weight at the time. I also learned a lot about the medical bills he had because of his health issues. Whenever I would ask him to go on a walk with me after work, he would say no, and I would soon see his car at another drive-thru next to our job. So even though I found him attractive, face and attitude, I was turned off by the amount of disrespect he had towards himself. Another comment, imagine being so undesirable that you have to resort to guilt tripping to try and get a date. But you cannot be speaking like that to people, this condescending attitude. So another comment, as a disabled kid, if I had a choice to get rid of my tics by just working out, having a healthier lifestyle, then I would. They need to stop comparing fat phobia to ableism because it's f***ing ignorant. Amen. Stop. Okay, stop. This is, it's literally, it's not only annoying, it's insensitive and dumb. Anyway, let's see another video. And why do you think going to the gym for the first time might be scary for fat folks? Is it the never ending unsolicited advice you give us the second we step into a fitness space? Or is it the active fat phobia we receive through being taken pictures of, weird looks, literally name it, I don't know. Ask any fat person, they know what I'm talking about. Or are those two things one and the same? because all those things indicate to us as fat people that we don't belong in fitness spaces. Your unsolicited advice 
is fat phobia because if we circle back to the beginning of all of this you don't know if i am in a calorie deficit you don't know if i go to the gym or how often i am exercising all you saw was a video of me responding to a stranger telling me to starve myself and you felt that that was an appropriate time to give weight loss advice I can validate that going to the gym can be stressful for any beginner. It doesn't matter your weight, okay? Anybody who goes to the gym for the first time, they're stressed. They don't want to be judged because probably you will not be lifting as much as the professionals out there or you will not have the same stamina and you are scared to be judged. Guess what? Everyone goes through it. But I know that people with healthy mindset, they are actually pretty supportive of people who attend okay it goes for everyone if you set yourself a goal keep at it go for it don't play a victim don't find excuses remember world is full of assholes it will not change there will always be someone who will offend you who will make you feel bad it really is up to your own reaction to it how you deal with it and how you move on kevin says don't care about others live your life don't let others control your life absolutely same what i said but shorter <laughs> Another comment, I work out twice a week, every single week. I'm, a, I'm super fat. I have been a member of a gym since I was in middle school. I regularly get people who I've never seen come up to me and congratulate me on trying and telling me to keep going. So yeah, like I said, there, there will be assholes, but there will be awesome people that you will meet at the gym and you will be part of a community and you will work out together and, you know, push each other to achieve your goals. Another user says, I'm not sure about this. I'm in no way trying to discredit other fat people's experiences, but I love the gym and nobody there has ever made me feel uncomfortable. Well, that's awesome for her. But again, if someone makes you feel uncomfortable, report, change the gym, there are things to do. So let's see you next video. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great Okay, I love her, she's badass And she's also like fit, you know? She's bigger size definitely, but she's fit She's doing these exercises, she has great attitude Amazing outfit for the gym And this is what body positivity looks like really And everyone in the comments is hyping her up Nobody is putting her down Cause guess what? She's not being condescending, she's not making excuses, she's not calling herself a minority. She really is not bringing her baggage into the video. It's a workout and good for her. And I saw some other videos of her. She's doing a lot of like fashion, outfits, some travel. Love her positivity, she's awesome. And the comments show it too. Inspiration, keep up the good work. Another one, would you consider doing a YouTube video of your routine we could follow along too? Look at that, like people already get inspired by her. I've seen your pro Progress and girl, you're killing it. Let's see one more video. Skinny shaming is the same as fat shaming. Oh really? It's the same? So I guess you've experienced these things too. So you've gone to the doctor and they've ignored all your symptoms and just told you to gain weight. And when you went to other doctors because you were in serious pain, they said go gain weight first and then come back. Oh my gosh, and when you went on that plane last year, you were so scared because you didn't think you were going to fit the airplane seat. You thought you were going to slip through the cracks, right? Oh my gosh, don't forget about that time you went to a mainstream store and they didn't even offer your size. Not even online. Like, you simply just ceased to exist. And we both know that time when you went into a job interview and, you know, you could barely fit that seat. You were just so skinny and you didn't get the job. And in your heart, you know, it was because it was because of your weight. They just hate skinny people. I bet your friends barely take photos with you too, huh? Why do you guys want to be oppressed so badly? It's like an itch, like you have to be marginalized. Right back at you. Why do you want to be oppressed so badly? Why do you want to be marginalized community? It's such bullshit. See, when this attitude comes out, this condescending, this... Uh, I, lose, I lose my arguments, seriously, because it's just so annoying. This video bothered me quite a lot. Because larger people keep screaming not to be shamed for their weight and want their experiences validated, but speak in a super condescending manner when it comes to skinny shaming. Isn't all body shaming bad? Aren't all experiences valid? The only the difference is that there will be people that will let the shaming defeat them or just ignore it and keep going in life. I used to be insanely skinny when I was a young girl. Not petite, not thin, 
I was bones. And there was not one person in my life that didn't make a comment. Boys don't like bony bodies. They like something to grab on. Your legs are so skinny, you shouldn't wear shorts, and so on. And it hurt, especially for a 15-year-old girl who is going through puberty and life sucks anyway. This was very f***ed up to deal with. But hey, I didn't make it my whole identity. There was no social media, thank God, to make a I'm a victim videos. So I just grew thick skin and lived my life. My body changed over the years, but my attitude changed the most. I just don't listen to opinions. I don't make lists of people and situations that offend me. I don't dwell on it. Anyway, here are some comments. My doctor would never listen to me about my health because I'm too skinny and it's just eating problems. Don't make others' struggles invalid. True, exactly. I also went to the doctor when I was young and they were always saying, you need to get gain weight. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Okay, it's just part of the experience. It's a shitty doctor. I'll find another one. Simple as that. So the creator of the video responded, I'm sorry you're dealing with that. The keyword here is struggles, not oppression. There is a difference. My God, how are you oppressed? I don't think you even know what oppressed means. Another comment, well, damn, not you downplaying it. And the creator answers, I am not trying to downplay skinny shaming. I am trying to show the big picture about oppression versus getting your feelings hurt. And another one, as a skinny person who was always in a hospital as a kid, it was very, very hard and people comparing it is just disrespectful. The creator said, I agree, this is not a competition or should be compared. They're two entirely different things. And the girl says, yes, girl, but your video doesn't give off that energy because you're pretty sarcastic. Exactly, you have this attitude about it. Like, oh, have you ever, no. You either compare them, you don't compare them. The thing is, no, body shaming is okay ever. Going through videos on TikTok or on YouTube with those hashtags like fatphobia, body positivity was actually challenging. There is a lot of negativity in all of that and funny enough, mostly the negativity is spread by the individuals affected by it. I won't judge anyone by size. I won't tell anyone to work out, eat less. It's not my place. But what I am going to say is being a victim is not attractive. Constant complaining is not attractive. Telling people who to date is not attractive. Body shaming of the other side of the spectrum, skinny people, and telling them they're gross is just unacceptable. If you're happy at your size in your life, live it. Expecting the whole world to revolve around you, trying not to offend you in any possible way is impossible. Just tune out assholes and keep on going. Currently, Cyprus is amongst top countries for obesity in European Union and Cyprus Mail wrote recently, more than half of the world will be overweight or obese by 2035. The article continues, the World Obesity Federation's 2023 Atlas predicts that 51% of the world, or more than 4 billion people, will be obese or overweight within the next 12 years. Rates of obesity are raising particularly quickly among children and in lower income countries, the report found. Describing the data as a clear warning, Louis Barr, president of the World Obesity Federation, said that police policymakers needed to act now to prevent the situation worsening. Well, maybe if majority of the popula population is obese, <laughs> they will not be oppressed anymore. <laughs> I don't know. It's a serious issue on a global scale and glorifying being obese is not okay. Glorifying being underweight, not okay either. Let's fight it with kindness, compassion for each other, but also with a healthy dose of reality. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and check out some other ones right here. Also, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications to never miss new Daily Fredo episode. That's all for today. Have a good one. I know you're not supposed to make fun of fat people. I understand. I don't know why though.